Hi, my name is Janelle Friesen. I'm the Public Information Officer with the UG Public Health Department. It is May 20th, and this is our uh, weekly update video. And I'm here with Lindsay today. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, this is my name is Lindsay. I am a public health educator here at the Wyandotte County Health Department. All right, thanks for joining us today. You're a new um, a new face on these videos, so it's exciting to have um, another person uh, join us for this. Uh, so let's talk today about um, childhood immunizations. There's been a lot of talk about COVID vaccines lately, but there are some other childhood immunizations that are available right now. And we want to make sure that we let people know what's going on with that. So can you tell us um, a little bit about what the health department is offering this summer for childhood immunizations? Yeah, um, starting May 12th, we started offering childhood immunizations um, for children that are behind on their regular vaccines. So not COVID vaccines, but we're talking like Tdap, um, meningitis B, things like that, um, that they need for school. And so we're actually offering those every Wednesday um, from one to 6.30 at the Kmart location, the central location. All right, so that's to help kids get caught up before the next school year, right? Uh, since you need them for Kansas schools? Yeah, exactly. So there's over 2,000 Wyandotte County kids that are out of compliance um, with their uh, vaccines that they need for school. So we thought this, this would be a really great way just to do a big catch up throughout the summer. We're providing um, students and families with multiple opportunities to come in um, to get get their vaccines um, and we're really pushing for kids that don't have insurance or that are on Medicaid for our main clientele with these. Okay, great. And so that that is free, right, for those kids who, who don't have health insurance or yeah, on current yeah. care? Correct. Yeah. So there's different vaccination days, um, which are based on what edu or what um, vaccine that we're providing. Um, and it is all free. All right, great. And, and you mentioned different days. We're going to drop a link in the description here that will give more information on, on what vaccines are offered on which days so uh, parents and guardians know uh, when they need to bring their kids in. Um, so what, what else should parents and guardians and um, kids and teens in our area know before they come in for their vaccinations? Yeah, so um, parents and guardians need to make sure that they come with their child to the vaccination site at the Kmart. Um, it's very important for them to bring their vaccine record or the note that the school nurse has set home about which vaccines that they need. Um, it's really important to look on the um, links that we're providing or the website for what vaccines are going to be provided in which days um, so they know which um, vaccines to get that day. Um, the school should have sent out info as well, including the forms. So if you want to fill those out prior to arriving, you can do that as well. But we'll always have site or, um, forms on site as well. All right, great. So um, you're going to bring that vaccination record or school or a note from the school nurse. And if you have the forms ready ahead of time, great. If not, that's also fine. Um, but what about um, the COVID vaccine? So bringing it back to that for a second, you know, if you're bringing your kid in for other vaccines they need, um, can they get the COVID vaccine at the same time? Do they need to come in a different time if they're um, uh, 12 and older, that is? Uh, how does that work? Yeah, so if the child is 12 or older, they are now eligible to get the Pfizer, vac Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. Um, and they can get it at the same time as those other vaccines. Um, so you can definitely save a trip um, with that. And parents and guardians are always welcome to get their COVID-19 vaccine at the exact same time as their child if they want. So they're kind of on that same schedule. Um, but the first um, couple of uh, childhood vaccine clinics, um, which will go until about the end of June are for our middle school through um, high school ages. So pretty much all of those kids should be eligible to get um, a COVID vaccine as well if they're wanting to. All right, great. So that that makes it convenient to do it all, you know, in one stop. And that's on those Wednesday afternoons from one to 6.30. So if people need to come a little bit later in the day. There's some later hours on Wednesdays. Um, we do have other hours for the COVID-19 vaccine though. Um, if, if parents are just needing to come in to bring their kids in for 
the COVID vaccine and not other vaccinations. Correct. And uh, I have had some questions about can they just come for a COVID vaccine on those Wednesday clinics? And yes, you can. You can you can come just on the COVID side for those Wednesday clinics as well, because the KMAR is open late that day. All right, great. And, and folks can find all of our um, vaccine site schedule at WicoVaccines.org. So that has the latest on you know, not just those Wednesdays with the other childhood immunizations, um, but the other uh, days and times as well. Uh, all right, I think that wraps it up for today. Thanks so much. Um, we'll see everyone next week. Thank you for having me.